the last year there's been some fantastic updates to the Iris M system. The first one is the frequency displacement module. Keith, you've got a vibration analyzer. What benefit is having this capability within this system? Oh, well, it's fantastic really because we can take non-contact measurements with the camera. Yeah. We've got that visual aspect, but the fact that we can take non-contact measurements anywhere in that image is really powerful. Yeah. So stuff like, let's say this pipe work behind us, you could easily get accurate readings off there? Yeah, yeah, we could literally turn the camera right now, get some shots, and we're able to just pick out along the pipe work measurement points that we wanted. So we could measure deflection along the whole pipe work you can see there. So it could take 10, 20, 30 readings. Yeah. So how accurate is it? Is it as accurate as if I went up there and put an Excel on? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's the same as having an accelerometer, it's spot on. But we have to set the distance, I, have to, I assume we have to tell the system. Yeah, there's a bit of a setup with that, so you need to uh, put points on there and take the measurements for those points, yeah. so you always get the right amplitude. Uh, the frequency is always correct when you take the measurements. Yeah. And what about if we were doing, say, a typical uh, pump where I can get access uh, with my uh, analyzer? Can you do phase, anything like that? Just yeah, well, that's another really good thing about using the, uh, the frequency displacement measurements is that we can see the time waveform. So we can go we can go right next to a coupling and uh, shoot over the coupling, take yeah. the drive end of the motor, drive end of the pump or whatever it is, yeah. and uh, we can take the waveforms, overlay them, and see the phase relationship. All oh, right, and that's because all the videos start from one position we don't need obviously a tackle yeah, that's it yeah. can, it's all to do with referencing against each other exactly okay cool yeah. i think one of the things I, I think the real benefit is if if you go and collect some uh, data on site you can get back to the office and then i guess just keep taking vibration means wherever you want on the the video image yeah exactly yeah it's, it's quite funny actually because it's you always see more when you go and sit in the office don't you and sit down have a cup of coffee and have a yeah. play then, but, yeah. But really then, with this system, I suppose we're talking about there's two systems, there's, there's a visual aspect and then there's this frequency side, so you can use both or I guess uh, yeah. either or really. Yeah, it doesn't require you to have a vibration background, yeah. but a vibration analyst can use it in that way if they need to, so just you need that engineering background, use that visual side of it. Yeah. Yeah. And what about frequency ranges? Uh, how do we adjust that? We can, we can, I guess we can look at some high frequencies and low frequencies. Yeah, so our, our F max at the moment is up to 650 hertz. Okay. Uh, it really excels at the lower frequencies, so we go from zero upwards. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what if I wanted to take a higher resolution spectrum with a camera? How would I do that? Oh, it's simple. You just take a longer reading. So okay. A lot of our readings you see were about three to six seconds. Yeah. But when we get, we still see the peaks. Yeah. But if we wanted to get a real defined peak in there, yeah. split some peaks up, we could just take a longer reading. So I hope that gives you a bit of an overview uh, of the frequency displacement module. And like I say, it's a great tool. And um, just get out there and use it.